Evolution at a total combined weight of 780 pounds, Triple H, Randy Orton, and Batista. And here comes Triple H, a man who claims to make decisions based on what's best for business. Well, some of those decisions have certainly been questionable. I'll just leave it at that. And there are those biting, icy eyes. The venomous look of Randy Orton. Monster Kane is. Triple H setting up something big. Batista spent some time away from WWE. Remember after his vicious string of battles with John Cena, the animal took the microphone on Raw and said, that's it, I'm done. And he left. And Batista was not seen in WWE for four years. Then he returns in 2014 and wins the Royal Rumble. The animal picked up right where he left off. Well, despite Batista being away from WWE action for four years, I don't think Batista's ability was ever in question. The Royal Rumble has been around for more than a quarter century. And sure, I haven't always enjoyed the way Batista's gone about his business. But you can't deny what him winning the Royal Rumble after such a hiatus says about him as an athlete. Batista's career was when he decided to break away from evolution and become his own man. This led to one of the most physically grueling encounters we've ever seen. Batista versus Triple H in what was a classic confrontation of teacher versus student.
Uh-oh, what's this? Batista's in all kinds of trouble. 